and far-right Fox on three. The Socialists also won national elections this past April 28th, uh, without securing an absolute majority. On the local front, it is more complicated. The Socialists ran more votes than any other party nationwide, but the election was very fragmented. In Madrid, the left-wing Mas Madrid party of acting mayor Manuela Carmina received the most votes, securing 19 seats in the 57-seat municipal government. However, even with the support of the socialists who won eight seats, Manuela Carmina would be two seats short of the absolute majority needed to govern. Meanwhile, the center-right popular party secured 15 seats and with support from the center-right Ciudadanos party, who won 11 seats, and the far-right box control 30 seats in the city hall and have the majority needed to govern. This is acting mayor Manuela Carmina. Muy buenas noches a todos y muchísimas gracias a todos los medios que visitó aquí con tanta paciencia esperando. Eh, ya sabéis los resultados. Efectivamente, pues eh, más Madrid ha ganado las elecciones. Good evening to everyone and thanks to all the journalists who have been waiting with such patience. You all are aware of the results and indeed más Madrid won the elections. Although vote counting still hasn't ended, I believe we received nearly 500,000 votes, and this gives us a feeling of satisfaction. But we know that we're not going to be able to govern, and that therefore I won't continue to be mayor. And so it's a result that is not by any means the one we wanted, but that difference that was seen possibly to be a determining factor turned out to be so. I would like to say, you've often heard me speak about how important democracy is and how important it is to take care of it. Now that I know that I won't continue to be mayor, I'd like to express my gratitude to the people of Madrid for the support that so many of them have given me on so many occasions. And I've been very happy with the team of people with which I've been working. And I'm sure, because this is the richness of democracy, that Madrid will continue being a great city that is progressive and is open. And it will continue being what I have always said of Madrid, that it's a city of solidarity and creativity and one in which people can participate. I'm sure it will always be this way, and that's all I have to say. Now you can ask any questions you like. No seguirá siendo siempre seguro. Y nada más. Ya. Manuela Carmina's successor is almost certain to be Jose Luis Almeida of the Popular Party, whose supporters cheered him on last night with shouts of "Mayor, Mayor." you something. It's been four long years, but change has come to Madrid today. And on June 15th, the popular party will lead this change in the city of Madrid. Two years ago, when my colleagues named me spokesman for the popular party in the municipal assembly, I said that the next mayor of Madrid would be from the popular party, and I wasn't wrong. And the second thing I thought was that the first thing I would do would be to express thanks to all my party colleagues in the assembly, because without them, this change in Madrid would not have been possible. And more than anything, thanks to the over 380,000 people from Madrid whose votes have made this change possible. Let me also thank the popular party's president, the national president, Pablo Casado. You went out on a limb for Isabel and me, and we didn't do too badly, did we, Isabel? We didn't do too badly at all. Te la jugaste por Isabel y por mí. Y no 